The objective is to use place value understanding to decompose to smaller units once using the standard subtraction algorithm. Here we have a subtraction problem. Read it with me. 2,523 minus 361 equals. Let's set up a tape diagram to show what it is that we are solving for. First, we draw the bar to represent 2,523. So the whole bar represents 2,523, and what we're subtracting from it is 361. So we'll go ahead and subtract from it 361. So we have the whole bar, we're taking away 361, leaving us with this portion here, which will be our answer, where we will assign a variable of A for our answer. So this is what we are solving for. Let's set up a place value chart to show with disks how it is that the subtraction works and we'll tie it together also with that standard algorithm. Let's label the places. We have ones, then tens, then hundreds, and then we have thousands. Of the two numbers that we have here, in this instance, we're only going to model the number that we are taking away from. So we start with that 2,523, and if we decompose it and break it apart into its part, we have three ones, two tens, five hundreds, and notice we're using disks within our place value chart to model that first number of 2,523. That's what we're taking away from. We do not model 361. The way that we actually subtract from there is we go step by step there within each of the places. So we had three ones here, and when we subtract away one, we're left with two ones. And that's why it is that we did that in the place value chart, and then we can record a two in our standard algorithm. Next is asking me to take away six from the tens place. Up, oh, there's only two there that we're trying to take away from. And so, in this case, we will need to regroup. We can take one of the hundreds and exchange it for how many tens? Right, ten tens. Now, when we've done that, and we've exchanged, if you go back to that standard algorithm, there's now only four hundreds left, and now we have twelve tens. Can we take away six from the twelve? Yes. How many will we cross out? Right, six of those. Okay. And how many are we left with? We're left with six. Four hundreds minus three hundreds cross out three of them, we're left with 100. And in this case, there are no thousands to go ahead and subtract. So we bring that one down there. So we're left with 2,162. And in some cases, some people like to put those digits of counting up those disks that are there, that are left, to make sure that they've done that work correctly. So as you see again, we regrouped, and as we're subtracting the 361, the 1, 1, the 6, 10s, and the 3, hundreds, that's how it is that we approach this problem. 
Okay, it's your turn to try. Can you draw a type diagram to model this problem to show what you're solving for? Pause the video while you do your work. Did you draw one bar to represent the number that you are subtracting from? Did you label it correctly? Then what do you do? You are subtracting 11,510, so it's probably about there or so. You do have to label it. And then you, of course, label what it is that you are solving for. Did you work through your problem? Did you have to do a regroup? Where was your regroup? As we're working through this, 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 5, that's where it is that we have our regroup. We're regrouping from the thousands place and taking one of those thousands. That's why the 3 becomes a 2. And we're regrouping one of those thousands to 10 hundreds. I now then have 14 hundreds there, and then I am ready to subtract. 14 hundreds minus 5 hundreds is 9 hundreds. 2 thousands minus 1 thousand is 1 is one ten thousand. We make sure to place our comma correctly, and if you read their whole problem with me, that's 23,422 minus 11,510 equals 11,912. And the reason we can use that standard algorithm is that we have our understanding of place value, where it is that we know that one of those thousands can make ten hundreds, and when we put together ten hundreds with that four hundreds, we have fourteen hundreds there that we can subtract from. Let's solve a word problem. Read it with me. The cereal company produced 52,172 boxes. They sold 23,160 boxes. How many boxes remain? Let's draw a tape diagram to represent the boxes of cereal that the company produced and sold. How many did they produce? That's our bigger number. That's the one that we are subtracting from. And then, so this is the amount that was produced. So the amount that was produced, and the full amount that was produced, was 52,172 boxes. Of that, they sold this amount here. So from this amount, 52,172, they sold 23,160. So we'll take a portion of this bar of this full amount and label that there 23,160 to demonstrate that this is a subtraction problem. I'm going to label this portion of the bar as our variable C. This is what we're solving for. C represents the number of boxes that remain. Let's write a focused answer here. The number of cereal boxes remaining is blank. And then I'm going to just be a little bit clear with it that I'll label it boxes as well. So how is it that I solve for this number here? It is going to be a subtraction problem where I will take that amount of 52,172 and subtract 23,160. 
Would I be able to do my subtraction here? 2 minus 0 without a regroup? Yeah. 7 minus 6? Yes. 1 minus 1? Yes. 2 minus 3? Oops. That's where I'm going to need a regroup. I can't take away 3 from 2. Therefore, I have to go to the neighbor, the 10,000s place. I can take one of those 10,000s and make it into how many thousands? Right, 10 of them. So if I took one of those 10,000s, the 5 becomes a 4. And this 2 here can then become a, right, 12. Because we had one 10,000 to make 10 10,000s, put it together with the 2, we had 12 10,000s. Look here, yeah, I can subtract that still. So now I am ready to subtract each of those. I've done my regrouping within that problem. 2 minus 0 is 2, 7 minus 6 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 12 minus 3 is, right, 9, and that's 9 thousands there. 4 ten thousands minus 2 ten thousands is 2 ten thousands. So C is equal to 29,012. And when I write it back down here, I am expressing my answer clearly. Now, is that a reasonable amount? This is about, mm, it's about 30,000. This is about 20,000. 20,000 and 30,000 does it equal about this here? Yeah, it does equal about 50,000. So it does seem like I have solved this problem correctly. Not only setting up a tape diagram, but getting a better understanding about regrouping and how it is that subtraction works.